Hello everyone, welcome to Narisha Technologies. So my name is Raham. In this video, we are going to discuss something about your one of the famous thing on the current market that is DevOps. So in this video, I am going to tell few point about DevOps. So first one is what is DevOps. Second one is why DevOps came into the market and why we are using it. Third one is list of the tools. we are going to use on this devops and the fourth one is about completely who can learn this as well as any prerequisites and finally the scope of the devops in the current market so first thing first let's understand something about devops for example if you want to make this understand clearly let me use a scenario for you by using this scenario you can be able to completely figure it out what is the meaning of devops and why we are going to use it So first thing, like if you want to order something, for example, if I want to order a product, I have two options. One is in Amazon, second one is my Flipkart. If I am going to order the product, if Amazon guy is going to deliver within three days and Flipkart guy is going to deliver within one day, definitely I am going to choose this Flipkart only because I can save a lot of time in the real time. The major importance is always given to the time only. same thing like exactly we are going to do it on the software as itself so in the software field if you are developing a product if you are developing an application or else a product you want to make it fast then devops is the thing which comes into the picture so devops is nothing but the combination of different kind of tools first thing i want to clear is lot of people will think devops as it is a technology some people will think it as it is nothing but some of the tools which we are grouping but it is not the right thing guys devops is something called as a cultural moment in the software organization if you want to develop a particular product you need to work with different kind of teams so by using devops you are going to bring the all teams together and work with them and you are going to release the product fastly into the market so here we are going to work with majorly two teams one is your development team second one is your operational team development team is going to develop the product so that means they are going to write the source code and they are going to build it and they are going to give it to the like test team they are going to testing it entirely so once it is done from the development end it is going to comes to the operation team so operation team will take the code from the developers and testers which they have developed and tested on their locally so then we are going to make it available to the end user by using the deployment apps so this is what you call as devops and one more thing devops is a culture we are going to say it simply and again sir why we need to use a devops there are totally n number of alternatives if we talk about few of the alternatives one is your waterfall model after that agile all these are going to be the alternate for devops but among them compared to all of these devops is going to have a large number of uniqueness as well as large number of n number of what we call it as simply your advantages okay when you place a waterfall method as well as your agile method as well as your devops side by side devops is going to definitely have a large number of advantages so it is the thing which makes our product easily available on a short span of time sir if i want to learn devops do i need to learn the all the tools it is not really necessary because on devops life cycle you are going to totally have eight number of stages one is your plan code build test and after that release deploy operate and monitor so these are called as your eight number of stages on all of these stages it is necessary to learn any one of the tool for example if i talk about stage called code here you are going to use github gitlab or bitbucket or for the stage call like to deploy you can use docker or you can use vagrant or you can use like ec2 all these are some of the alternates so depending upon the current cycle you are running i mean which stage you are so you need to learn any one of the alternate tools sir okay like if i want to learn devops do i need to have any some previous knowledge or do i need to work somewhere else before this the prerequisite for this course is if you have a good knowledge on linux and if you have a good knowledge on 
AWS services, it is fine. But again, if we don't have also, in DevOps course, like we are going to cover all of this. We are going to cover an operating system for you completely. And after that, we are going to cover AWS on the DevOps course entirely itself. And after that, DevOps comes into the existence of the picture. So if you have any prerequisites, it is okay. But if you don't have also, like we are going to cover here. It is not mandatory to learn all the tools. Again, I'm saying we require only one tool for the each stage. Sir, who can learn this course? For example, I'm a fresher. I'm a non-IT guy. Am I able to learn this course? Is this course going to be tough or else very easy? If you are from non-IT or if you are fresher or if you are working on some development area or testing area, anyone can learn this course easily. Because the best advantage is you don't have much coding part on this. If you are even from non-IT background as well, we are going to use scripting most here. And again, like lot of people will think coding is really mandatory. So remember guys, if you have coding knowledge, it will be advantage for you. But if you don't have, like try to learn. It is going to much helpful for you. So after getting up all these things into the mind, you will have a clarity now. So what is DevOps and why we are going to use it? And who can learn this and what are the tools that we require? So let's talk about some of the tools for the DevOps course. So first tool is obviously your Git and GitHub. And after that for building, we are going to use Maven or else Gradle as per our requirement. And testing, you can use Selenium or JUnit, Cucumber, all these things. And coming to the like integration part, we are definitely going to use Jenkins on the most cases. If not Jenkins, you will have some of the alternate tools like AWS Code Pipeline, as well as your Bamboo, Go CA, Circle CA, Tavis, these are alternate tools. And coming to the configuration management, you have a tool called Ansible. It is a major user tool on the real time. And again, the alternates are Chef and Puppet will be the alternate. But again, we focus mainly on Ansible only. So after that, you coming to the monitoring part and you have some n number of tools like NagyOS, Plunk, ELK, Prometheus, Grafana. All these are your alternate tools. Any one of these is required for our tool. And like there is somewhat other tool called as your Terraform. Terraform is nothing but your, if you want to create infrastructure for your project, no matter on which organization you are going to work, you are definitely going to create a infrastructure for the project. So by using a Terraform call, we can create our complete infrastructure. So this is the sum of the things we need to keep in our mind when you are going to the DevOps course. So after your course is completed, you need to have the basic idea and understanding of your deployments. So what are the deployment types and how many types of deployments we are going to do and what are the different kind of use cases and types of servers for it. So all these things comes into the picture at the end of the DevOps course. So that's it guys. So I hope it will be easy for you to get in what I have said. Thank you.